Okay, problem 1-2-A, part 1, asks us to play with the accounting equation. And we're starting with the basic accounting equation of assets equal liabilities plus equity. And moving the pieces around so that we also realize that assets minus liabilities equal equity. And assets minus equity equals liabilities. This problem asks us to use all of those variations. Well, in part A of this, they tell us that this company has $55,000 in assets. So let's write that in, 55000 And then they tell us that we have $24,500 in liabilities. So we need to subtract that. And that gives us assets minus liabilities equals equity of $30,500. The next tells us that it wants us to find the equity at the end of the next year. So the beginning equity for this year is the ending equity from last year, 30500 During the year we issued $6,000 worth of stock. That's an addition. Plus the net income, remember, flows through to retained earnings, so that's an addition of 8500 And we gave away cash dividends, and cash dividends come out of retained earnings. And our cash dividends this year were 3500 So our equity at the end of the year is 30500 plus 6000 plus 8500 minus 3500 or 41000 $500. Then they tell us on December 31st if our assets were 58,000 what were our liabilities? Well, they gave us the equity. So we'll subtract the equity. Assets minus equity equals liabilities. That's this one that we're playing with. Assets minus equity equals liability. And that gives us 16500 As is true of most accounting problems, the difficulty is not the math. This is all very simple math. It's knowing the accounting babble and wading your way through it. 